Hi everyone, Joe Fischetti here from the Forza Napoli Calcio Podcast. This is my post-match review of Fiorentina Napoli for the Serie A sit-down. The Ma- Napoli won the match 2-1 on goals from Lorenzo Insigne and Emir Rachmani. Insigne from the penalty spot and Rachmani from a set piece. Fiorentina actually scored first from a corner kick. Dusan Vlahovic beat Fabian at the back post and had the ball back into the danger area. I thought Piotr Zielinski and Frank Zambo and Gisa caught a little bit flat-footed. And that allowed Martinez Quarta to volley into the back of the goal. Fiorentina were clearly the better side for the first half hour of the match. They pressed high and pinned us into our own half, which completely took away our midfield and forced us to play the long ball. Now, fortunately, we have a player like Victor Osman, who was really our only threat in the first half. I thought Martinez Quarta and Milankovic did a great job of stopping Osman, along with the help of Dragovski, who was playing as a bit of a sweeper keeper. But eventually, Osman did get the better of Martinez Cuarta to win the penalty kick just before the break. Insigne's penalty take wasn't great, but he did a good job of following up on that play along with Lozano. So I felt pretty good heading into the break all level. One thing we know about Fiorentina this season is they start out very quick and intense, but they're not able to maintain that intensity for the full 90 minutes. We saw that again in this match. They weren't able to keep up that press, which enabled our midfielders to get back into the game. We took the lead from a set piece, which is something we've seen from Spalletti, but Napoli fans are still getting used to that because historically we've been just dreadful from set pieces. Amir Rachmani scored with a header after a bit of trickery from Zielinski on the free kick. If I'm being honest, other than that play, I don't think Zielinski was very good in this match. That was Rachmani's second goal of the season. His goal against Hellas Verona in the final match of last season was his first ever in Serie A. He's never scored for Hellas Verona, so that means this is already his most productive season ever in Serie A, but obviously we didn't sign him to score goals. He played really well on the defensive end of the pitch and has quite clearly surpassed Costas Manolas as the clear number two behind Kalidou Koulibaly. Spalletti made some interesting substitutes in this match. He clearly recognized that we were giving up chances too easily, so he replaced Lozano with Politano very early in the second half. That proved to be a wise decision. Politano is a much better defender than Lozano, and he showed that today. Then Spalletti replaced Insigne with Diego Deme about midway through the half. He moved Elmas to the wing and played Fabian in the number 10, which is also something we haven't seen too often either. But having Deme and Angisa together in the midfield made us, again, a little bit more compact. But you have to give the players credit as well. They locked it down in the second half. Koulibaly was his usual self, and Di Lorenzo was an absolute beast in the second half. Despite the assist, Vlahovic was actually kept really quiet in this match. So this was a big win for us. It was our first real test of the season. Yes, we beat Juve, but they were missing a lot of key players in that game. We suffered our first loss of the season midweek in the Europa League against Spartak Moscow. <clears throat> we're now playing at the Frankie against a Fiorentina team that looks very good against Vincenzo Italiano, so I'm very happy to get this win heading into the international break. That's seven games, seven wins, and we're still top of the table. That's it for me. If you want more in-depth analysis, check out the Forza Napoli Calcio podcast and all the usual podcast and social media platforms. Of course, Frank and Richard will cover this match along with all the other matches of the round on the Serie A sit-down. Take care, and as always, Forza Napoli sempre.